Researchers at King's College in London have curated the largest database of synthetic brain images in the world using NVIDIA's Cambridge One supercomputer and artificial intelligence. The database contains 100,000 images of brains and is being made freely available to healthcare researchers to advance cognitive disease research. The images were curated and donated by Mon AI, an open-source AI framework for healthcare born from a collaboration with NVIDIA. In the past, many researchers didn't want to work in healthcare because they couldn't get good data, but now they can. Synthetic data, or data that is generated by computer simulations as an alternative to real-world data, is quickly becoming ubiquitous in AI modeling due to the difficult nature of obtaining real-world data for some use cases. Medical images are especially tough to curate as patient privacy is a concern when using actual images, as well as the potential that the patient demographics of a particular hospital are not necessarily reflective of the broad population. Mon AI's realistic 3D brain images, which can be those of male or female, young or old, can be made to order depending on research needs. Though the images are simulated, the researchers assert that they look and behave just like the actual brain scans as a result of highly trained algorithms. This research began as a project meant to identify odd structures in brain images that could suggest brain disease. Monai's team trained the AI models by first showing them real-world images of healthy brains and then following up with images of unhealthy brains. They also taught the models the differences between older and younger brains, which involved generating synthetic images. By using larger and larger datasets, image fidelity was enhanced, and the models were optimized to be just as good as the real images. They realized the models had learned the distribution of brain types, so they didn't need the dataset anymore. The engine that generates the synthetic brain data is NVIDIA's Cambridge One supercomputer, which uses serious computing power to process each image's 16 million 3D pixels. Cambridge One is built on 80 DXG A100 systems, 640 NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core GPUs, Bluefield 2 DPUs, and NVIDIA HDR InfiBand network. The work was also supported by other NVIDIA software, including its CUDA Deep Neural Network Library and the NVIDIA Omniverse Simulation Platform. Thanks to the accelerated process the NVIDIA software stack affords, hundreds of artificial intelligence models were trained in weeks, not months, and model accuracy was greatly improved using hyperparameter tuning. A national repository, Health Data Research UK, will be hosting the 100,000 images, and Monai researchers hope they can share their AI models for future use. The team is also investigating how these models can be applied and optimized for other parts of human anatomy for all types of medical imagery. NVIDIA's AI-powered supercomputers advance nuclear fusion research. The most powerful supercomputers on the planet are used to perform all manners of complex operations. Increasingly, they're used to enable artificial intelligence for research that could one day impact billions of people. The world's fastest and most powerful high-performance computing supercomputers are at front and center in Germany at the International Supercomputing Conference, where NVIDIA will provide insight about its latest high-performance computing systems and the use cases they enable. High-performance computing plus artificial intelligence is really the transformational tool of scientific computing. Researchers talk about exascale AI because they do believe that this is going to be one of the key pivotal tools to drive scientific innovation, and any data center that's building a supercomputer needs to understand how their system will perform from an AI standpoint. NVIDIA first announced its Grace ARM-based CPUs in April of 2021 with the goal of including them in its high-performance computing deployments. At the International Supercomputer Conference of 2022, NVIDIA is announcing that Los Alamos National Laboratory and Hewlett-Packard Enterprise are building Venado, which is the first U.S.-based supercomputer to use the Grace chip architecture. The Venado supercomputer uses a combination of Grace and Grace Hopper superchips in a system that is expected to deliver 10 exaflops of AI performance. The Venado system will be used for material science, renewable energy, as well as energy distribution research. NVIDIA is announcing that the UK Atomic Energy Authority is using NVIDIA's Omniverse simulation platform to accelerate the design and development of a full-scale fusion reactor. With NVIDIA Omniverse, researchers could potentially build a fully functioning digital twin of a reactor, helping ensure the most efficient designs are selected for construction. The goal for Omniverse and the digital twin is to have an AI-generated replica of the fusion reactor system. The UK Atomic Energy Authority is also planning to simulate the physics of the fusion plasma containment itself. The simulation will be done with the NVIDIA Modulus AI physics framework to actually model how the fission reaction and its containment can occur. The holy grail of fusion energy is being able to not just create a fusion reaction, but have it be sustainable. Researchers are using NVIDIA's AI supercomputers to pursue this path towards sustainable energy. The use of artificial intelligence can speed up the diagnostic process, which is crucial to facilitating timely interventions for stroke patients. This software uses AI algorithms to support the clinical decision-making process, providing real-time interpretation of imaging to augment the review, diagnosis, and delivery of treatments. 
AI can reduce the decision-making time for both thrombolysis and thrombectomy, increasing the numbers of patients eligible for both interventions and improving the likely benefit of treatment. The Diagnostics, Recovery, and Renewal Report finds it can provide interpretation of imaging within seconds as opposed to up to 30 minutes when manual review of images is undertaken remotely by a reporting doctor. The use of AI software is also an integral part of the National Optimal Stroke Imaging Pathway, designed to guide the efficient use of radiology resources and reduce duplication. The National Optimal Stroke Imaging Pathway puts a patient's rapid need of appropriate brain and vessel imaging acquisition and interpretation front and center of the initial assessment when a stroke is suspected. The introduction of this framework will drive forward further progress in delivering best practice care where rapid assessment and treatment are of the essence. AI Robot can perform the delicate work of picking an apple to possibly transform agriculture. Creating a robotic implement that can simply pick an apple and drop it into a bin without damaging it is a multi-million dollar effort that has been decades in the making. Teams around the world have tried various approaches. Some have developed vacuum systems to suck fruit off trees. Most recently, researchers turned to the human hand for inspiration. The robot in the researcher's lab, which is essentially a giant arm mounted on a rolling platform, takes about five seconds to make its moves. At the click of a key, the robotic arm reaches up for the fruit with its three-fingered palm, which conceals individual motor wires to tendons that drive its fingers. Thirty sensors under each fingertip track the pressure, speed, angle, and other aspects of the grasp to help the robot complete its task. Then, the fingers tighten and twist and the apple is successfully picked, resting in the robot's palm. The fruit-picking robot has picked an apple successfully about half of the 500 or so times it has tried so far.